how what does Eden Hazard have to do to prove to you all that he's the real deal? What does he have to do? What does he have to do? That's what I want to know. What does Hazard have to do to prove to you people that he is in fact the real deal? Yet again, another game where he's bold. Yet again, and another game in which he has shown. Yet again, another game where he has shown how absolutely incredible that he is. But he's he's he's, he's not the best in the Premier League. No, it's, it's not. Oh, he doesn't have enough goals. He doesn't have enough assists. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Cardiff City played played well. I thought Cardiff City. Looking past the score, and I thought Cardiff City gave did give Chelsea a, a, a good game, and they did the best that they could. But you're going up against. A generational talent in an Eden Hazard. You're going up against a very good system in Sari. And you're going up against um, players who are improving and playing very well. Um, Morata can't sniff the, the starting line, 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 line up again. He can't. Maybe throw him in a Europa or like a Caribou or something. Premier League, Champions League. Sorry, okay. Premier League, important Europa games, Epic Cup. Nah. Let's talk about um, Lawrence Olivier. Lawrence Olivier um, is effective. He's effective. The game has changed. And this is what I was saying in my preview. All that matters as a manager is what works. What will help us win the, the game. It's not about, oh my gosh, I, if, if, if my striker is not scoring, I take him off. Your striker is not scoring. Okay. Is my striker helping me to win the, the game? If he is, keep that striker on. I don't. I couldn't give it down whether you whether you score because my job isn't to see how many goals that my striker scores. That's not my job. My job is to win games because my striker can, can score thirty goals, but we end up fifth. My striker can score two goals, we we win the the, the trophy because some of my striker is helping my other guys to to score those goals that is helping us win those flipping games. Giro just understands what's around him. The two, I think two, two or two of the goals he was involved because he's aware of what is around him. Those situations where Giroud laid the ball off was aware of, of what was around him. Morata doesn't do that because Morata will get the ball head down. Let me try and go go for a shot. It's not happening. It's not happening, bro. Okay, you know, but it's Tuta or drug drug bus. So for me, Giroud simply works for Chelsea. Simply work, work, works for the team. But again, this the this team is looking good. This team is looking good. Like I, I can't front. This, this, this team is looking good. I mean, you look at, um, I mean, the, the team is quality. Pedro's looking good. Can't say it's not a revelation. Luis is still a bit thingy. Guys, man, you see that's the Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta, I'm sorry, man. The, he's he's underrated. Aspilicueta is underrated. Um, but it is. It just shocks me how quickly. This Chelsea team have adopted a completely new system because I don't think people take into account just how drastically different this system is from Conte. Because it's a system in which there's much more passing involved, there's much more movement in involved, there's much more spacing, it is much more dynamic, it is much more unorthodox. Whereas uh, Conte was very rigid, very religious, very dog dog dogmatic. To go from that to boom. Unshackled, release the chains. Because I thought, look, man, this is good. And they've won all the games. They've won all their games, you know. Um, and the teams, I mean, Chelsea not winning the Premier League. That's too much to ask. That would be, it would be ridiculous if Surrey comes in first season with this team and wins the Premier League. That would that would be really, really nice. It, it can't happen. It, it can't happen. Also, Especially as well, as good as Giroud is, or uh, and, uh, perhaps Morata, you, you need a striker to give you 20 to 20, 25 Gs to win the league. So so that can't happen. But let's, let, I mean, I want to see how that this season unfolds. Let's see how this season unfolds because the team is really clicking. It's really clicking. It is really on point. Everybody's forming a really, that's the key thing. There's a great understanding. Kovacic, like Kovacic. I think we're now seeing Kovacic really show his potential now. I think we're now seeing why Kovacic was this heralded talent since Inter Milan because this guy is two-footed like a mofo. He's an excellent footballer, understands his central midfield of, um, duties, but also is a threat going, going, going forward. So in the last third, he's also somebody that understands how to really be attacking and actually be effective and actually get into those, those spots because he's a guy who 
he can give you five, six Gs. I think the guy can give you five, six Gs in the way that Chelsea are moving and man past the ball and allowing guys to move, move forward. He can give you some, some Gs. So, um, it's looking all right. It's looking all right. Look, Sarah is, you know, Sarah is saying something. Sarah is definitely saying, saying something, you know. Um, so, for Cardiff, it's going to, it's going to be tough. Warnock is an old war horse. I think um, they need to just get through this tough period and they need to just try and figure out how to win games. They have to just grind out, defend well, um, and just try and get back to some basics because I think, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough for them, but I, I do feel that Warnock just has to keep the morale up. Keep the morale up and just say, we, especially when it comes to Christmas and everything, where things sort of change, just any draws they can get... A three points is great, but just get get a draw here and there. Get a draw here and there. Get a little three points here and there. Because every point they get now will help towards when because they will be fighting relegation. That's that's just what's gonna happen. So any points they get from now will be very helpful come uh March, April, and so forth. So yeah, man. In this game, um that dude. I'm gonna give it to Pe Pe Pedro. I'm gonna give that that dude to, to Pedro because I just think that Pedro's looking really good. He's looking very sharp, and this is the this is the closest Pedro has looked back to his Barcelona days. I think he is. He, I think him playing like like this changes Chelsea's team because as I always say, okay, Hazard needs a, a another partner. I think Pedro is that guy who's like, yeah, Pedro, yo, Eden, I'm on your wavelength. I understand, my bro. You know, I understand, I understand, I understand. Um, so break of the game. Um, Luis, I will probably, I'll say Luis, I'm blaming him for that um, goal that, that went in. And I think the sooner that the guy gets replaced, the better. Lovely dude, great personality, homeboy into central defender. That's just facts. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.